Hello everybody, I would like to make a short video about um, the fidget activity mat that I just made. Um, it is basically a um, great tool for anybody who has got issues with fidgety fingers or mind. <laughs> it's great for kids with ADHD or adults with dementia, Alzheimer or any other form of dementia basically. And um, also perfect for anybody with autism or on any spectrum of autism. This is basically a um, simple little tool that will help anybody with um, issues with fidgeting to help to s smooth them a little bit. And also it's basically great for any restless hands. Um, the great thing is that the size of it is... Um, 16 inches square so it is great for lap you can rest it on your lap and you can enjoy it it's it has got a little bit of weight in it so what i used is that i had nine squares five by five inches um, and each of the squares is a little bit individual what i used is a uh, upholstery fabric so you see a little bit of texture that's the beauty of the um, fidget activity mats that it has got different textures and each of the squares has got different things to play with. So most of the fabrics I used are very good quality upholstery fabrics that are strong, durable and um, have nice texture. So this one I added little braid with a metal ring. This one is has got beautiful texture. This one is a little leftover fleece I had and I cut it. Um, in little pieces, so it's fantastic for fidgeting. Um, a button that you can do and undo. Um, another little circle. I love natural materials, so this is actually cedar. Attached on both sides. Those knots actually work great as well because you can play with them. An attached ribbon. Again, very good, nice texture of fabric. It's smooth and fluffy here. There's another piece here that should not fray on the edges, and even if it does, it'll be fun. Here is, um, I forgot what's the word for this material, it's roping. Uh, it goes also on upholstery on the, s the edges of um, upholstery slipcovers. <laughs> There's wooden ring here, and that's it. So I had nine squares, five inches by five inches. I added little features and little tools to it. Oh, that's me. And um, I sew them together. First I did stripes and then I attached the stripes. I try to make sure like here you can see a little tiny mistake, but it's no big deal really. Um, and then I cut fabric that was basically three times 515. It was 16 by 16 actually and um, put it um, inside out and stitch it all the way around left little opening four inches so I can turn it inside out on the end and then I did also a zigzag stitch all the way around I really want to make sure that everything is attached properly even this button here has got um, thread that's super super strong and durable here you can see that I stitched it three times all the way around this is also attached properly, so it's very, very durable. Everything, I have to make sure that if anything, nothing will get ripped out because it will end up in mouth. Um, so this is it. I just wanted to show you how easy it is. It can be folded this way. It can be rolled. Um, so I find it a little ironic that it is for patients with dementia, but their caregivers have to make sure say never leave it at home or leave it behind anywhere thank you for watching you can use any kind of leftovers for this project which is fantastic you can use any crabbins metal pieces buttons but as i said please 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 do make sure that you attach everything properly you don't want to lose any pieces um, it's washable you can put it in washing machine with anything but it depends on the pieces you put on so all my pieces are durable and they will be fine going through wash. If you use little plastic attachments, you may not be able to put it in dryer. So you just have to be a little careful. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye.